Hey guys, I've got a 2000 Toyota Tundra. I'm gonna use this truck to show you how to change your headlights. I'm also gonna point out to you the important fuses and relays for the headlights and the fog lights. So to start with, let's look at the uh, fuses here. There are two 10 amp fuses. This one is for the high and low beam on the passenger side. This is for the high and low beam on the driver's side. So you can check those out. And there is a spare 10 amp fuse right there on the back of the cover. Now the headlight relay is gonna be this one. This relay gets energized whenever the headlights or the high beams are turned on. And to remove it, you kind of grab it and wiggle it while you pull up. It's gonna be stuck in there fairly well, but it will come out eventually. I try to avoid using pliers on this because it can break the plastic shell. You can pull that out like that. And you can actually bypass this relay for troubleshooting by connecting these two larger pins together. So if you connect those two together, then it should result in your headlights being on. So push that back in, make sure it's seated. Now, as far as removing the bulb itself, I'm gonna pull the fuse in order for the bulb to go off. And you get to it here on the back side. So first thing you do, you've gotta get this connector off. You just grab it and wiggle it side to side while you pull out and it will come out. Take this opportunity to inspect the inside. Sometimes corrosion can cause these pins to get burnt up. And you can also put dielectric grease on this connector as well. Now uh, you've got to remove this rubber piece. You just grab the tab that sticks out and pull it. And that reveals the headlight. Uh, it's an H4. And there is a wire retaining piece right here. And the way you remove it, you don't have to mess with that Phillips head. And in fact, I recommend you don't touch that. Um, but to release the bulb, you push this part in and then lift up. So you push in, go up with it, and you can see it comes out right there, and then it folds out to the side. Sometimes you may have to bend this. Um, just my experience, I've had to bend them. Take the bulb out. Like I said, it is an H4. And when you install the new bulb, take care to not touch the glass. Uh, the bulb will only go in one way with this top piece facing up towards you. Push it in till it locks into the slots. Uh, then this wire piece comes down and around. Once you've got it locked in there, be sure to install this boot. And at that point, you can just push the connector on as well. So yeah, I hope that was helpful for you. Uh, I do want to mention as well... There is a fog light relay right there. And the fuse for the fog light is that 20 amp fuse. So yeah, I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions.